Hi friends, welcome to Amos Nail Art. In today's video, I'm going to show you a brand new e-file I purchased from Tip and Toe. So I'm going to review this and before we start, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified about all my new videos. So let's begin. Until now, I was using a very low cost electric file machine uh, which I got from AliExpress. I don't even remember when I ordered it but it's pretty old and it was high time I upgrade to a good machine. So I decided to buy this machine from Tip and Toe. I was actually looking for a lot of different brands, uh, Indian local as well as the foreign ones. Then foreign ones, a good e-file is always like around $100. So if you buy from abroad then uh, you might get like a heavy custom duty so I was like really hesitant and then I came across this Tipento uh, electric file machine I thought I'll give it a try so I asked for the specifications and other information and I was convinced with the specification that they were offering and that's when I placed the order so this machine they is they were selling it at 8300 rupees at that time I bought it in the month of November last year 2021 uh, that time it was 8330 I am not sure how much it is right now I uh, I think it's still under 10,000 only uh, but it's a good machine as you can see on the screen uh, it has like 40,000 rpm and also it's a 90 watts which means it's a really powerful machine and the more power you have the easier and the better the way the machine works which means your filing will be like super fast so i'm just going to quickly open it and see what are the content we have in the box and then we, we will start and we'll do a demo so when i open the box in the inside as well there is a lot of protective layers they have placed so there is no way the machine is going to get any kind of damages during the transportation so i think that's the best part and the first item as you have just seen is the standard bits that you get whenever you buy an electric file and the second item is the foot pedal if you wanted to control the speed and things then you can with your legs then you can use that uh, next we have is the hand piece so when i lifted the hand piece uh, out uh, i felt like it's like a little on the heavier side as i said earlier i was using a chinese made low cost electric file so that file hand piece was not heavy it was basically light so normally nowadays the electric files the hand pieces are like really light so it cannot be like too light or too heavy so that won't be ideal but it has to be in between um, so this one was like a little on the heavier side next we have the uh, main cord wire so this goes into the plug point and the other side goes into the machine and you can connect it and then you can start the machine so next we have a small piece this one we can attach to the side of the machine where you can rest the hand piece or if you don't want to do that then we have this standard hand piece resting thing i don't know what we call it but we have that as well and then finally we have the machine so the machine it looks like a small handbag right so you have that um, a holding space given so you can just carry it and there is no way it go, it's going to slip through your hands or anything so i thought that was really comfortable and on the sides uh, i think there are some holes this is to keep the machine cool i think when you are using it on the back side the, uh, that's where the power cable goes and then there is an on off switch and at the front side we obviously have the digital display then the speed controller and you can also switch between hand and foot if you wanted to use that foot part that we just saw and then the forward and backward mode so now let's just quickly connect the power cable and see how the machine works so this part of the machine it's really heavy i think it's around 500 gram or something so what I did is I just quickly connected the power cable and I turned it on so as you can see we have the dis display now at zero and then it says uh, the hand mode is on and the forward mode is on so now I'm just going to quickly connect my hand piece so that we can run it and see. After attaching the handpiece, I wanted to test the speed of the machine. So I switched uh, the that default thing comes with the handpiece. I switched it with a uh, mandrel bead. So I wanted to see how this is going to work and how much noise it's going to create. So I wanted to switch the bit and uh, try that. So I removed that default thing that comes with the handpiece and then I inserted the 
mandrel bit here so this is where one challenge i faced uh, because regularly the ones that i have seen i have used so this turning part it's very easy and flexible but this one it was like a little hard it wasn't very easy so i had to like uh, be very careful to you know uh, twist it and then loosen the tip of the hand piece and then insert the bit so that is the one thing i felt like it's like a little out of place um, but now i am used to it how this is working but it took me a while to like kind of get used to it now i'm going to turn the video back onto the original sound so you can see how much noise it is making and then i'll come back As you have just seen, the machine is like super fast, 40,000 RPM, and the sound it doesn't make much sound. Here you can see like it a little louder. That's because I used the mandrel bit to test it, and I didn't realize it at the time when I was recording the video. But if you use like a regular bit, ceramic bit or any other bit, then it doesn't make half the noise. Okay, so this isn't a noisy machine, but it's like a really powerful machine. Uh, and it doesn't the hand piece doesn't vibrate so now i'm going to put it for a test uh, i'm going to like try and remove some acrylic extensions so here i have put on a um, ceramic bit uh, for the uh, product removal so i'm just going to turn on the volume so that you can hear it So I was able to feel the difference right away as I told you in the beginning I was using a low cost uh, electric file that I got from Aliexpress and then I have like this powerful machine. So the moment I touched that uh, demo hand I was able to feel the difference. It was so easy the product was coming off like really smooth I did not have to put any pressure. Uh, or any kind of effort from my side all I was doing is controlling the bit uh, so that the bit doesn't jump or it doesn't touch the cuticle area or the side walls I was just controlling the bit but apart from that I was not putting any kind of pressure or any extra effort to remove the product so it was so smooth so easy um, so I was totally satisfied with the way the product was coming off so uh, the gel polish that i'm trying to remove here it's like a three layer gel polish and then there is a top coat on top of that so it's basically like four layers and i was able to take it off within like 30 seconds time so that fast it was removing the product now uh, normally when we remove the acrylic extensions we use a bit to cut off the free edge length or you just clip it off with nail cutter or a nipple so um, if you use an e-filer it's like more easier and you get like a proper nicely cut uh, you know tip so uh, sometimes I use e-file to cut off the length of the nails and sometimes I use the nipper but here since we were testing the e-file I wanted to see how uh, this is going to work is it going to get stuck or it's going to get heated or it's going to get vibrated so I wanted to see that so I tried that and to my surprise it was again super easy it's been uh, three months since I started using this machine and every time I use this machine it's so easy so comfortable and I was pretty happy with what I got so the only thing I was concerned was like twisting that handle to put the bit in that is like still it's like a little trickier for me uh, but uh, somehow I am now used to it but uh, uh, this was that's the only complaint as such i have but other than that it's like totally fine if you're looking forward to upgrade to a good machine then i can totally recommend it this video is not sponsored by tnt this i purchased it and i did not see any review videos or anything on the internet so i thought it might be helpful for others that's the reason i recorded this video now that we have seen the demo on a practice hand it's time for us to 
put it in the actual usage so i have my extensions clipped off and i am going to file off my products from the nail surface so i have my desk collector ready i changed the bit into a safety red abrasive mark ceramic bit and i am going on a 28000 rpm and i am going to take off the products so now if you see uh, you will realize how soon i was able to get off all the product from my nail surface so i also have like that 3d design using acrylic powder so i'm just going to file off everything and i'm going to remove the extension sorry for the camera angle it is so difficult to file uh, you know on camera but i tried my best to keep the fingers in the camera but if it's going outside then please forgive me um, so overall if you ask me this is a good investment um, um, I don't have any complaint uh, complaints as such as I said I have been using it for like over a, over three months now I'm pretty happy with it it works really well no complaints so far and this also has a six month warranty um, so I think that's it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like it don't forget to like share comment all those good things and I'll see you soon on my next video any questions please feel free to leave it in the comments and I'll reply back and that's it thank you bye bye